What's up everyone? Welcome back. My name is Natalie and this is episode 5 of the Wind Waker series. How is everybody doing? Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope your weather is nice and fresh and thank you for joining me in this episode. Hope you guys enjoy. If you guys haven't already, be sure to check out the last video so you guys are caught up with what we have been doing and what we've done already so far. In this episode, we are going to be probably running a few errands and maybe making our way to get the next pearl which would be Nehru's pearl we're also going to be trying out the tingle tuner so hopefully that works out for us but hope you guys enjoy thank you for all the support you guys are awesome and amazing and i appreciate all each and every one of you and i hope that we continue to grow and that i continue to grow as an editor and also a video maker and that I get better at those skills. Let's go ahead and get started. So this place too has been attacked by Ganon. Could he already be regaining his power? Link, you must get the remaining pearl. It lies in a place northwest of here. We must set sail immediately. Well, sorry to break your hopes. Oh no, but oh gosh. I was like, what did I do? Uh, it's the... <laughs> it's the water. But um, we're gonna go ahead and do this first before we go to the next pearl. And we're going to see if we can turn in this pictograph to see if it's acceptable in this man's very eyes because he is a perfectionist. Well, I don't even know what I would call him, but he, he likes specific photos that sometimes are just seem nearly impossible to get. So we'll see if this is acceptable. I pray that it is because if not, I'm going to scream. Okay, I'm going to first give him the one I think is the best, which is this one faces of the very soul well oh my gosh if you don't give me a shot where the subject is completely facing the picta box i'm afraid i can't craft figuring for you you better not do this dude let me see is it this one oh Oh my gosh. Good, good, good. Okay, so I did not save it when I fought before I went to go fight the boss. Or I saved it just before I went to go fight the boss last episode. Just in case this happened and he didn't take my pictograph. And yeah, lo and behold, you had to take a picture of the little plant that's inside of the big plant once it opens up. And you just kind of have to take a picture of just that little baby plant. But um, oh. He accepted it and we were able to get it so good. Ah, uh huh. Hmm. This is quite an inspiring motive. Hurrah. I'm filled with inspiration. Please permit me to sculpt this. It will be a jewel of a figurine. So what's your name, kid? Link. Link, is it? Well, Link, this officially marks your induction into our little club. I think I should be done with this tomorrow. If you'd like, you can go ahead and take a look at our gallery in the meantime. Well, there's really nothing in the gallery at the moment since, you know, I haven't really submitted any pictures other than right now. But we'll come back eventually. So yes, it takes him a day so to uh, go ahead and make those sculptures. And we can actually go get a song right now that's going to let you pass the days. And um, it's at Windfall Island. But for now, what I want to actually do is check to see if the tingle tuner also i think i said it earlier tingle turner <laughs> i'm thinking of timmy turner from fairly all parents and i always do that but the tingle tuner i want to see if it works there's no game boy advance connected use the item only after connecting a game boy advance to controller socket two through and turning the game boy advance on okay so we gotta turn it on i just turned it on would you like to call it oh my gosh is it working it's working now calling tingle <gasps> oh my gosh it's working oh my gosh i wish you guys could see my screen it's like a little tingle floating in a balloon and it's like just him <laughs> the same calling oh my gosh oh tingle appeared in my game boy events okay so what the heck am i gonna do i guess i'm just gonna pause it for now but hello it says hello come in do you read me it's mr fairy in the forest haven oh my gosh dude he knows where i am Oh, you see that thing that appears on the bottom of me? Like that little green target thing? Oh my gosh. Oh, 
This is so cool. It shows how many rupees I have on the... Oh, look it. Look, there's a target. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Dude, this is so freaking cool. Hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what did I do? Okay, what? Hi. This is so freaking cool. Okay, so it like shows a little mini... Like, it's, it's just the map. Like, if you pull up your map and you zoom in. It'll basically just show the little island that you're on, and that's pretty much it. But um, you could also find secrets to this game using the Tingle Tuner, and I think that's just so freaking cool and cute. Um, so he said I think northwest of here is where we need to go. Oh, right here. Yeah. Okay. So we're not going to go there just yet. What we're actually going to do is go to Windfall. And we're going to go west and then up. So let's see. Let's go west. Because we're going to be marking the lands too. We're going to be going to get the fish so that we can um, mark each little island that we're coming across. That way we won't have to do all of them later on. We're just doing it as we go on our way to certain places. Because, I mean, might as well, you know? Also, how can I stop this from... You've already called Tingle, so I don't want to... I don't want to call Tingle, though, anymore. I want to put that away for now. Oh, well, I guess he'll just... Oh, no, it looks like it's turning off. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. I'm going to use it later on, because I know for sure, I think in Tingle's Island, you can get a special, like, golden statue there. And I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh, this is so cool. It's, like, brand new stuff to me, man. So this is Ice Spring Isle. There's this amazing treasure inside that freezing ring of ice over there. But even if you wanted it and tried to get inside, you'd just be frozen solid as soon as you approach the shore. But if you go four squares north and three squares west, you'll find the power to melt any ice no matter how cold. Search for it, small fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. This is Private Oasis. So tell me, Small Fry, have you ever heard of the golden set of Triumph Forks? It's right there, I tell you. A chart that shows you where they are in that house. If you want it, you'd better go in there and scour the place from floor to ceiling. And that's all the info I've got to offer.
So this is the Eastern Fairy Island, which we're actually going to explore right now. Might as well, since we're here. Word is they hold an auction every night over there on Windfall Island. Every night the people gather in the Hall of Wealth to amuse themselves by spending a little money. Ha, ah, the rich. Oh, you know what? I think that's what Chuck was trying to tell me. He probably was trying to tell me about the auction to go spend my money over there if I needed to. Aha! Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, as always. You help so much, and I really appreciate that. Auctions may be a race to see who can bid the highest, but I'll let you in on a little secret. The key to winning an auction is to be both patient and bold. I'm serious, Fry. From what I hear, they get some great things up on that auction block, too. Like heart-shaped stuff, among other things. Maybe that's just a rumor. You should try it out, small fry. You might just like it. And that's all the info I've got to offer. I'm wondering if we even can explore this because I know that there's some places. Oh, look, there's a Korok here, too. And his dead little tree. We're gonna have to do this later on, too, and it's gonna be a pain. Also, we got mail. Good morning. Letters for a link? We have one letter. Here's your letter. Dear Link, if you're reading this letter, it could only mean you have peeked into one of our many post boxes. I am indebted to you. I am very sorry I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcels for you, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, Please look inside them. I suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I have included a gift for you with my letter in the hope that it might help you. Please accept a small token. I look forward to the day that we meet again. May fortune fill your wings from Kamali's father. Yay, we got a piece of heart from him. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We really need to get a wallet though, a bigger wallet. And I'm hoping this is where we're going to get- oh no. We don't have any bombs. Ah, oh, well, pooey. Okay, well, at least we got that heart piece. And we've arrived at Windfall Island. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go up here to get that song that I was talking about. And I think that's actually the only thing that we're gonna be doing here at the moment. And then we're gonna take off. Let's see. So this is the guy that we need to talk to. Oh, no, that's not it. That's just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't it either. Oh dear, pardon me. Pardon me, guy. I was so fully and wholly absorbed in my dancing that I didn't even notice the little old you standing there. I am taught. <laughs> I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You will come to know me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, two, one, two. Say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of. Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance. A dance that turned night into day right before my very eyes. I can't remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get that intricate rhythm down. Do you think you know the rhythm, guy? Uh-uh-cha, uh-uh-cha, that's, that's it. That's the rhythm I've been trying to recall. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it, guy. And now we learn the song of passing. That's it, that's it, and it's perfect. I'm perfect, now let the sun shine on. 
Hey, what's the matter? Nothing happened. Nothing at all. Why? Well, because you're not holding the Wind Waker. I'm sorry, sir. So yeah, this is how you could pass time and make it night or morning. And it's pretty cool. Also, since I'm here, I just remembered. I'm going to go see if I could buy some stuff. Just to kind of like waste my rupees because again, I need to have an empty wallet or I need to find a bigger wallet and I don't remember where I get the first one. No, no, no. If you wish to speak to me, please, I must insist that you do so on my reception counter. Rules are rules. What? Okay, whatever. Little, little man. Yes, yes, yes. You're the young master who purchased my sale. At last, with those funds, I have been able to open my stall. But I hate to say that my poor little stall is not an instant success. In fact, it is rather deserted, I'm afraid to say. I think this tragic turn of events is due to the fact that I don't have a wide enough lineup of products. For if I am to be fully honest, I only have one product. To put it another way, I think my stall would do much better if only I could stock rare items that people can't get here in town. Yes, yes, that is what I need. Then I would make plenty of money. Not just plenty of money. It would be like taking candy from many rich babies. No, no, not even that. By running a prosperous business, I can play my part to help this town develop and become a happy place. Yes, yes, that is the proper perspective. But dear me, if only I had a young partner to help me out. A real go-getter. Can I buy stuff though? Yes, yes, master. Now that I take a longer look at you... I see that you have a fine delivery bag, do you not? Dear me, it is a bag fit for a hero of delivery. I have a small request and it requires the use of that bag. Oh dear me, I knew it, young master. I knew you would understand my plight. It is a rather long-winded explanation, but please take the time to hear me out. My stall is a kind of general store that makes its money by obtaining rare products at inexpensive prices and then selling them with a reasonable markup, of course. However, because I have so few products to sell, the shop remains rather deserted. I will sell anything. I am a master of the sale. I just need to get some new products. Could you not seek out traveling merchants and negotiate supply contracts with them for me? No, no, no. Do not look so frightened. I say contracts, but it is just a word. You do not have to do anything very difficult. All I need for you to do is trade one of my products for a new product that the merchant has in stock. You see, among merchants, a trade is proof of a contract. That is to say, it is the merchant's oath. That is what we call it. Yes, yes. Merchants that have sworn a merchant's oath will afterwards send their products to me. It is the way things work. So as you succeed in trading my products, my product lineup will increase. Do you understand everything I've told you? Yes, yes, young master. You are now my new salesman. No, no, scratch that. Starting today, you and I are partners. Dear me, yes. I give to you my proof of contract. In other words, this is my merchant's oath. Take it with you, my young partner. So we got a town flower. This flower hails from the town of Bright Smiles. If you find a place to set this rather small flower, choose your delivery bag on the item screen and set this item to either Y, Z, or X to use it. The first thing you need to do is take this to another traveling merchant and trade it for something to build on the foundation of my merchant's oath. As soon as you trade, the merchant you traded with will send his product to my shop thereby increasing my product line, which will make me quite happy. Well, your new trading partners, the traveling merchants, are waiting for you somewhere out there on the great sea. My dear, my expectations are high. Pfft, I bet they are, but also, I wanted to buy from you, but okay, whatever. So, what I actually want to do now is turn um, this morning to day. I mean, Turn this day tonight, and I want to try to do the auction to see if I could waste some rupees. I probably am more than likely going to waste rupees because I don't think I have enough for any of the items that they're going to be auctioning off. But we'll see. Either way, I'm wasting rupees and that's what I want at the moment. It's always like this now. Every time I'm just trying to waste rupees. And then once I actually need them, I'm like, I can't find them. <laughs> 
Well now, good evening. Yes, yes, I rent out the first floor of this mansion in order to run a nightly auction. Also, I just wanted to make a note that he's he every time he says yes, yes, I am reminded constantly of what's his name, Tom Crook. We like to call him Tom Crook, but his name is Tom Nook from um, Animal Crossing. And kudos to my sister Sylvia for making that name up, or like at least telling me about it. Tom Crook, yes, he is a crook. He steals all of your bells. But he also says that he always constantly saying yes, 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 yes. And actually, tonight's auction is about to begin. Oh dear me, is it ever. Now it is indeed an auction, but I like to describe it in more simple terms. It is a competition of the very highest order. Oh yes, it is a competition to see who can get the item that is being auctioned. Can you outbid everyone else? Do you have the courage and the fundage? Oh, the drama. Ah, uh, but what's this? Well, dear me, do I detect a hint of curiosity? I believe I do. Fortunately, we welcome bidders of all ages, both kids and adults. Yes, so tell me, would you like to participate in the auction? Dude, this guy is making bank. I don't know what he's complaining about. Really? Dear me, really? Now, you are completely fine with me not explaining the auction to you? Am I correct in assuming this? Then my dear, allow me to explain. Once the auction begins, you must shrewdly tap A repeatedly so you can earn the right to bid. Oh, the tapping, the excitement. Yes, yes, when you want to bid, tap A. As you do, your gauge will gradually build up. Once your gauge is full, your chance to bid has finally come. Oh dear me, yes. Now, when you bid, you're naming the price you're willing to pay for the item. Let us just call it your chance to show off your wealth. Flaunt it, my dear. Of course, if your fellow bidders try to buy the item out from under you by raising the bid, you can always raise it in return. Indeed, this produces much excitement. This dramatic back and forth goes on until time runs out, at which point the person who had the highest bid gets the sublime honor of purchasing the item. The auction only lasts one minute, not counting the time people spend talking. But do not worry, I will show you how much time remains when you make your bid. Now, do you understand? Very well then, let us begin immediately. It's no time to dwaddle. The auction is afoot, on your toes, on your toes. Dude, this guy's weird. He talks weird. And it's like, oh my gosh, he always says yes, yes, and oh dear me, or whatever. Yes, yes, yes. First, let me thank all of you bargain-loving people for joining us this evening. Dear me, what a turnout. The auction is about to begin, yes. And what do you suppose will pop up as our item of the evening? Oh dear me, I'm so excited, I can't stop sniffling. The calm before the auction storm always makes my nose run. Let's get to it. This evening, our glorious auction item is this. A fabulous piece of heart. Oh my dear, what a prize. At last, the suspense is over. But all drama aside, you should know it is extremely rare to even get a chance to own a fabulous item like this. It is precious, quite dear, very valuable. Yes, yes, yes. Listen well, for I do not lie. Let the auction begin. Let's open the bidding at 80 rupees. And... Begin! Okay, so 80 rupees. This guy's going up. Gummy, he's going by 3. So 83 now, 83 rupees. And Meninso is 86 rupees. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Gosak, 90 rupees. I have only 200. No, Gummy, stop it. 93. I definitely don't think I'm going to be able to get this. Garrickson, 100 rupees. Oh boy. They're just going at it. Missy, 104 rupees. Anton, 110 rupees. Dude, stop going up. Yes, yes, yes. Our current top bidder is the worthy Anton. The bid is 110 rupees. Do I hear another bid? Come on, my dear people. Let loose, let loose. This guy is making bing. Like I said, I don't know why he's lying about being not being successful. Menenko, so 113 rupees. Hundred and sixteen. 
Oh my gosh, please, just please, guys, stop bidding. Yes, yes, yes. Our current top bidder is the worthy Gosok. The bid is 119 rupees. Do I hear another bid? Come on, my dear people. Let loose, let loose. Okay. 122. Oh my gosh. Stop, 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 stop. Time is running out, dear friends. Well, how much time is there? 126. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 134? Oh! <gasps> 104 oh my gosh it's getting higher and higher please don't please just please let me have this piece of heart 150 oh my goodness 154 oh yeah it just keeps getting better and better 100 oh my gosh no you went up 10 rupees oh my goodness 160 oh my Dude, shh. Shut up, people. Shut up. Stop raising your hands. There isn't much time left, good people. Are you done bidding? Dude, should I risk it? 178? Okay, I'm gonna risk it. <laughs> 186. Okay. There's only, like, what? Three seconds left? I'm gonna go for 200, baby. <laughs> you know, I'm like, okay. Uh, is this gonna work though? What if. What's this craziness? Yes, yes. Continue saying that I'm crazy and don't. No! Dang! <laughs> Not this freaking fool, stupid Mario! This is why Peach doesn't love you and sold. Here ends the auction. Oh, this. That stupid nerd. Did that on purpose as soon as somebody else bid higher than me. He's like, okay, the auction's off. Tonight's fabulous piece of heart goes to Garrickson for the price of 206 rupees. Dear me, let me just say congratulations. I'm going to freaking smack you in the back of the head with a plank. I'll take that. But now then, on to business. For you lucky ones out there, and yes, 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 also for you not so lucky ones, let me say thank you for your participation. I must bring tonight's auction to an end. Dear me, such excitement. Oh, Dear people, thank you very, very much. Oh, you freaking nerds. Oh, I hate all of you. You know, I forget them. I can't win with just 200 rupees. I need a bigger wallet. But whatever, I tried. Um... So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead to the area that we need to go to, which is this one right here. And I think that we're going to go like this path. So south, then um left, up, left, and then down, possibly. So let's do that. There's a bunch of dangerous things that are around here, but there's also that big tornado. That's where Cyclops or Cyclone is. I that one guy's brother. Um, we can't really do anything about him yet, so eventually we will. But just right, not right now. So this is Northern Triangle Isle. Let me tell you something, Small Friday. The school on that Windfall Island has one gorgeous teacher. But the thing is, this gang of four little hoodlums is always causing trouble for her. Those little delinquents like to cause all sorts of trouble. They go climbing trees and hiding behind buildings instead of going to school. What a bunch of savages. Somebody's got to scold those scoundrels and set them straight for the sake of that poor teacher. You hear me, Fry? And that's all the info I've got to offer. Okay, that's interesting. Ouch. Thank you for that.
again, we're in dangerous waters right now, but um, we gotta do what we gotta do to get this fish and to get the island charted on the map. So this is six I reef. They've got a shop over there on Windfall Island, a nice outdoor shop. Did you know that small fry? And in that shop, they've got this really fine safe that looks to be brimming full with riches. And they just leave it sitting outside day and night. I tell you, one of these days that thing is going to get hauled off by a thief. Mark my words, fry. Of course, if I were to find a thief in the act of thieving, I'd stop the perpetrator right there and catch the rat red-handed. I'm sure if I did, the owner of that shop would thank me. Yeah, he'd be happy. That would be the honest thing to do. And that's all of what I've got to offer. This is Cyclops Reef. You've seen those weird rings of light that appear on the seas at night, haven't you? Yeah, well, those things are a sure sign that there's treasure in the deeps, Fry. But let me tell you, there are some lights that don't always shine. Yeah, there are these special ones that shine like crazy, but only when you open a treasure chart. They say that those mark the spots where the greatest treasures are hidden. And that's all the info I've got to offer. So this is Tingle Island, and this is what I'm going to be exploring right now with the Tingle Tuner because I want to see if I can get that golden statue. Let me tell you a little something about that island over there, Small Fry. The guy who lives there is named Tingle, but he won't grow up and act his age. He still dresses like a little kid. That is not normal. Still, from what I hear, he can decipher maps like nobody's business. It just goes to show you that you can't judge a person on appearance alone, Fry. Of course, the thing about this Tingle guy is that when it comes time to pay his deciphering fee, you'd better be ready to fork over some serious dough. Anyone who doesn't have a deep wallet won't be reading any maps, that's for sure. And that's all the info I've got to offer. So we got some blue chew jelly and this one is deep within blue choo choos is a gelatinous essence that is said to be a magical cure all. But unfortunately, it can't be used in its current form. Interesting. So I don't know why I thought there was a golden statue on Tingle Island, but I was oh so wrong. And um, since I've never done this before, I kind of looked it up and it says that it's not a requirement to complete the game. But I'm still going to get it just because it's like a collectible. Might as well. But um they're gonna be there are going to be five golden statues in the five main dungeons of the game. So we'll probably do an episode that's dedicated to that. Other than that, we'll be moving on with going to the location that's marked on the map. And then there's also a little secret where you can find Knuckle, which is one of Tingle's brothers. And Outset Island, which we'll eventually do, but I don't even know if I should do that since you guys can't see the screen of the Game Boy Advance, so it's kind of like, doesn't like make any sense to do that because you guys can't see it, but we'll see what happens.
So this is Spectacle Island. Beware the night when the crescent moon faces up. That's all I can tell you, small fry. This is Mother and Child Isles. They say that inside the ring of rock that makes up the perimeter of the island, there lives an incredibly beautiful fairy. But the thing is, nobody's ever met her. Supposedly, the only way you'll ever meet her is to take a ride on a whirlwind and drop inside that rock perimeter from the sky above. Doesn't sound easy, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. This is Rock Spire Isle. I wonder how long it's been since the light in Windfall's lighthouse went dark. It was quite a grand sight, I tell you. The way that ray of light shone out like a shaft of gold through the cold darkness. I used to gaze at it with dear Gillian. Anyway, I bet if someone could shoot a powerful spark into the top of that lighthouse, it would light up again. Of course, that's just my intuition talking. Then again, you should never doubt a fish's intuition, small fry. Right. Look, Link, do you see it? What has happened to this place? We're at Great Fish Island. Well, what is the meaning of this? The island. It is... We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Hold there, Link! So, you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the Grey Spirit Jaboon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the Shadow and Forsaken Fortress. But fear not. Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born, on Outset. Yet even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jaboon. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Link. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. 
If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Valu must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to, but that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. completed. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna make our way back to Windfall Island. So, Jaboon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we go first to Windfall and search for them there? And we will do, but first I need to find the fish. That way I can mark this place. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I haven't marked it yet. So, and there's also Beetle. Let's go ahead and stop by his shop and... Oh, look, I think the fish is over there behind that rock. So, gotta remember that location. That way I won't get lost. Oh, no, he's selling, but I can empty this. Just to, like, kind of waste rupees again so we got a red potion for 30 rupees that's a good price i mean usually i'll be complaining about that but this is dire times so we got red potion and it will replenish your life energy and so i'm assuming it's gonna replenish all the life energy that's the thing i like about the older games because um ever since i think sky war sword or maybe twilight princess no twilight princess was before wind waker though no was it after wind waker Oh, wait. I'm not sure. I'm so confused. I don't know, but ever since Skyward Sword, I know for sure. It seems like, at least ever since that game, we, uh, the potions don't fill up all of your hearts like they used to. I mean, unless I'm just imagining stuff. Maybe it never was like that, but on this one, it looks like it does fill up all of your hearts no matter what. So as you guys know, that's Greyfish Isle. You should come around these parts on nights when just a wee bit of the left half of the moon is missing. That's when it appears, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. So I think where we need to go now is, or change the direction to northeast. That way we could get to Windfall faster. It is just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jaboon's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. Okay, so this is where we need to start like taking pictures because yeah, this is gonna be annoying because um, we do need to take a picture of some of the pirates. I think if you get a picture of Tetra, 
you'll be able to he'll be able to make all of the figurines of all of the pirates for some reason but um to get that i think you have to wait until later on very very soon i because i don't think you could get a picture of her right now but I, i'm not gonna stop trying i'm gonna try to, to get a picture of her or some of the pirates at least Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast-talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Ha! Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that link, I just knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah? So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo. Really, just top notch. It's funny though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, but isn't she like super young compared to them? That kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. You idiot. Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dog him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss? We have to leave immediately, but it's been so long since we were out on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So what say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? You're all fools, do you know that? You saw that demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry on to outset, or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow. You big babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in, understood? Aye, aye. Say there, brother, what was today's password again? Mako, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. Today's password is Swabies. <laughs> yeah, remember? You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. And he's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is Swabies. Yeah? Swabies, eh? And the cool thing about this little part is that every time you play this game, the password is different. So I think that's pretty cool. But it's also annoying because it's like you can't just go over there and skip this cutscene. I think that's the whole point. But swabbies it is. 
also Link was real smooth and uh, like trying to make sure that he doesn't get caught. Well, I mean, then again, Tetris probably really uh, observant because the other pirates didn't even notice him and they were actually more than likely to be able to spot him since they were kind of facing his direction. Who cleans pirates' ears? Okay, so we have to spell exactly like how they told us to do it. Right, right, you may enter. So now that the pirates are gone, we can actually look at Tetra's room. So we can see that she has a little triangle picture there. It's actually a map of a future thing that we're going to do, be doing pretty soon. And you'll see, um, hopefully you guys will remember this. And once you see it, you'll remember, oh yeah, this is what she was talking about. And then there's also that thing from the beginning of the, the game with the story. And hello, Nico! Are you glad to see me? Oh, Link! My old swabby Link! So you're alive! All the other pirates said you got done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress. So I thought. Never mind what I thought. You're alive! Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder. Which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. Oh, poor Nico. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. Alright, why don't we set you to your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck, you'll need a swabby. You can see that there are lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time when you pressed the switch platforms rose up for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, well this time there aren't any. Which means you have to jump from one rope to the next rope. Pretty tough. And that's not all. This time I put a gate on this door too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before time runs out. Run out of time and you'll have to try again, little swabby. Alright, so same idea, except this time, like you said, no platforms. We got this. The switch that opens the gate is in the same place as before, so go step on it. If you get all the way to this side before time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give your best shot, Swabby. There we go, we did it! And also one thing I forgot to point out last time we did this is that if you guys notice when we're swinging on the lanterns, the rope goes between our legs but then when we jump, how do we... How does it... It just goes through us. Goes through our body, but... <laughs> Alright. What? You gotta be... You did it already? You're... You're incredible! This isn't good. I've never even passed this test. <laughs> how could he do it so quickly and make it look so easy? And if I give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay. You're the best swabby of all time, so... I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious. Okay? Okay? <laughs> How did Nico get over here if he hasn't passed the test then? 
How was he able to like get through the gate? Does he have a remote that just like automatically opens and closes the gate? Yay, we got bombs! We could carry up to 30, pull one out, then press A to throw it, or R to set it at your feet. Try it out, it's a blast. Using bombs while on your boat gives you a mighty cannon you can use to fight off seagoing enemies. Set them to and use them with either Y, X, or Z. Dude, I love the bombs here in this one because you get a cannon! That's mighty courageous of you, trying to steal treasure from pirates. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. Oh wow, she's so mean. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. Nico is just in the back, like, nodding, like, yeah, haha. <laughs> and just how do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure, too. Right now, Jaboon is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer. But we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jaboon tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You'd better be quick, kid. So I wonder if that's actually true. Um, I kind of want to test it out. I want to save it just before we get to Outset Island and make it morning and see if that's true. Because to be honest, I've never had that happen to me. And I don't know if it's just one of those cases where they're just saying that because, you know, it's part of the dialogue and stuff like that. Or if that'll actually happen if you take too long. Either way, that's pretty cool. Like I said, I want to test it. But if anybody knows, please do tell. Let me know if that actually happens. So for the time being, since we got the bombs, we're actually going to go ahead and go to... So we're going to go all the way south down to this one, go west, then north, west again, and then south, all the way to Elsa Island. So I think we're, yeah, we're just going to head straight. Oh, <gasps> I forgot to take a picture of Nico. Oh no, 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 that will not do. I'm going to take a picture of Nico just in case. And then we will be heading to Alta Island. I guess I won't be taking a picture of Nico. Oh my gosh, I just hope that if I take a picture of Tetra, it'll give me all of the pirates. Because now I'm pretty, like, I I messed myself up, that's for sure. If that's not going to be a thing. But um, let's just cross our fingers that it is that we do get all of the pirates if we take a picture of Tetra. Because I can't get back into the boat. And I'm sad about that. He's glitching out. Well done, our preparations are complete. If what the girl says is true, the pirates won't be leaving until morning. You must meet with Jaboon and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let us delay no longer, Link. So I'm gonna save it really quick and then we'll head to Alta Island.
So we're at Southern Triangle Island. A famed photographer lives far to the north of here on Windfall Island. He's apparently real wise and talented in the ways of pictography. He's even said to have legendary pictographs that he treasures above all other things. He keeps them hidden away in a secret safe or so they say. By the way, small fry, what exactly is a pictograph anyway? This is Southern Fairy Island, and it looks like an upside down heart or a peach. Listen up, small fry. This is just between you and me. On Outset Island, buried beneath the black soil, there's some serious treasure. I know it sounds like I'm trying to pull your leg, but I'm serious. Try digging there. And that's all the info I've got to offer. So can we explore this island or not yet? Oh, you know what? We have bombs now, though, so I'm pretty... So I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do something, hopefully. Or maybe this is the one that has the... Oh, you know what? I think we can. Let's see. Yay! Hello, little fairy. She's so cute and small. And then she turns into this gigantic, enormous fairy with bunny ears or something. Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. So we can now carry more bombs. So now you can bring a maximum of 60 with you wherever you go. The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness. When you grow fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. This is two I reap. I tell you, lately no one around these waters has seen the beautiful fairy who bestows magic power. She used to live here, Fry. All anyone ever sees anymore are the big octos that have been appearing lately. Maybe they scared her off. Oh no, I sure hope they didn't eat her. And that's all the info I've got to offer. This is Headstone Island. Small fire, there's a real heavy stone head blocking a cave on that island. Don't you wonder what's behind it? Don't you want to get in there? <laughs> Let me tell you a great secret. If you go north four squares and east three squares to Fire Mountain, you'll find an item that gives you the strength to easily lift anything, no matter how heavy it is. With that thing, you can lift that stone and toss it out of your way as if it were light as a feather. And that's all the info I've got to offer.
This is Shark Island. Tell me, small fry, have you ever been caught in one of those cyclones? The wind deity cyclones use these cyclones to fly across the sea instantaneously, or so I've heard. Could be just a rumor. Boy, if you had that power, you wouldn't have to spend so much time sailing back and forth across the sea all the time. Wouldn't that be nice, Fry? But let me tell you, there's no way he'll give up his power easily. You can't get near the guy, so you'll have to figure out how to shoot him from a distance. Don't you have a weapon that can pierce things from a distance? You know, foop, foop. I tell you, you get my point, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. This is Stone Watcher Island. So tell me, small fry, have you heard about the Golden Triumph Forks? There are such things. Oh, and there's a chart that'll show you where to find them on that island there. If you want it, try asking that huge grouchy looking Stone Watcher. I doubt you could even budge the thing though. You've got skinny arms, fry. Oh, and then also another thing I for uh, I realized. Um, it's not gonna be possible. I, at least I don't think to turn it to daytime and I don't think it's ever gonna turn to daytime or to turn to morning because we've been sailing for a while now and it's just still night so usually it'll be morning by now but yeah so I think it's intentional obviously and um, yeah so that answers my question So this is the Isla Islet? Is it Islet of Steel? I think that's how you pronounce it. Tell me, small fry, have you ever heard of the fabled set okay of Triumph Forks? Well, it's right there, my young fry, on that island, you know, a chart showing you where to find them. Of course, Giddy, it's the hard part. And that's all the info I've got to offer. So yeah, one more island to go before we get to Outset Island. Finally, this is Five Eye Reef. So we've got a lot of the map filled already. We've got a few more to go. It's gonna take a while, but I mean, we got a lot, a big chunk of it cleared and out of the way, so that's good. Long ago, there was this huge fairy who lived to the south of here in the forest on Outset Island. But now all that's left is the ruins of the fairy fountain where she lived. It's sort of sad. But to tell you the truth, I hear there still is a fairy there. Yep, she's still alive and kicking down there, Fry. Have you noticed, Link? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Greyfish Isle. Okay, yeah, that definitely answers my question. 
the land that was so ravaged by monsters. It is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Valu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. We can speak with Jaboon after you do. Okay, so first things first, what I want to do is actually I want to go visit Grandma. But before we go visit Grandma... Oh my gosh, yeah, there's a lot of monsters that are just here overrunning the island. So what I want to do first is I want to go see the great fairy oops but so the great fairy if you remember when we went to go save tetra in the beginning of the game there's gonna be a giant rock and now that we have bombs we're gonna be able to blow it up and get into the fairy fountain Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. Yes! Now we can carry more rupees! Now we can hold up to 1,000 Yes! Yes! The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness. When you grow fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. Oh my gosh, you are the best great fairy ever. Okay, so now before I leave, I want to take a fairy. Thank you very much, because we're going to need this for Grandmama. And now we can go back and visit Grandmama. So now that we're back in Grandmama's house, you can hear the sad music. It's so sad. And look at her, she's bedridden or chair ridden, more so. And look at the soup that she was cooking us, and now she can't because she's too sick. So, oh my gosh, the first time I played it, I didn't know what the heck to do. And so I kind of just left her like that. And then the, I think the second or third time that I replayed this, by some chance, I decided, I was like, oh, what happens if I take a fairy to her and, uh, you know, just let it out? And lo and behold, I figured out how to cure grandma. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. No more sad music. Look at her. She's so cute. Oh, Link, is that you, Link? Grandma is always happy to see your bright, shining face. Link, my dear sweet Link, you're safe. That's wonderful, just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. 
Oh, that's right. You and your sister, Ariel, are trying so hard to be strong, and I've just been sitting here moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Link. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. No, you're not, Grandmama. You're the best Grandmama I've ever had. Link, this is all I have to give you right now. You could keep it in your empty bottle. Yay! We got the elixir soup. This healthy soup your grandmother makes replenishes all of your life energy and magic power. Your attack power also doubles until the first time you take damage. Now that is one hearty soup. And your kind old grandmother filled your bottle so full that there's two helpings inside. Isn't she the sweetest? You and your sister love this soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it for you anytime you like. Grandma's going to try to be strong, so you try to be strong too. Oh, she's the biggest? But don't do anything reckless, alright? Oh, look at his bright smile. Oh, she's so cute. I love my grandma's. And I love this grandma. She's so sweet and cute and small. Alright, so now that we visited Grandmama and healed her, we are gonna go to the back of the island to find Jaboon. Oh man, he didn't let me jump in the boat because he had to talk to me. He can't talk to me while I'm on his back. Are you ready? If that is the case, then we must search for the cave around the backside of Outset where Jaboon is set to hide. I was trying to, but you didn't let me get on your back. You stupid boat. Okay, so let's go around to this side. And we gotta have our bombs ready, so be prepared, people. There's gonna be a gigantic tidal wave. Is that what it's called? It's this thing right here. It's nasty and scary, and I would not do this in real life. I'd be like, sorry, people, y'all are dying. I ain't, s I ain't trying to die in this tidal wave. I mean, probably I, pro I, no, I probably wouldn't because I'm too scared of dying. But either way, we would probably perish if I didn't do this. But either way, I would be like, I can't. So don't depend on me in real life. I'm sorry. Well, maybe you never know. In dire times, I might just become that courageous person or maybe not I'll never know This song is also a remix of Inside Jabu Jabu's Belly um, from Ocarina of Time. I think it's so cool. Well met indeed, Jaboon. I am pleased to see that you are safe. Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. Unfortunately, that is not so. The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one, and yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. I do. It is the only way. Okay, well, we have no idea what the heck Jabu was saying, but... The King of Red Lions does, so it's all good. We got Nehru's Pearl. Perfect, the last pearl that we needed. The Water Spear Jaboon was kind enough to give you this jewel, a treasure of one of the goddesses. So, that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have.
Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaboon gave us, so morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all of the pearls. Are you ready, Link? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your seed chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jaboon has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than any you have faced thus far. You should finish any business you have here on outset right now, so that you shall not have any regrets later. What do you mean I'm gonna have regrets? What am I... What? Oh, well, probably... Is it is it about Grandmama? If we haven't cured her? I mean, because that would make sense. I did regret my decision. I didn't even know how to cure her, though. I just figured it out, like I said, on my second or third attempt of this game. And I was just, like, so proud. I was like, oh, yeah, Grandmama is cured. But, um... I think this is where we're gonna end it here. Uh... <laughs> Three hours of recording this episode. Like, seriously, I am so pooped. I am ready to take a break. I need a break, man. And I'm going to try to cut this down as much as possible. But there are no guarantees. Like I said, um, I'm doing my best. And hopefully you guys appreciate the length of the video, no matter what it is. Because I try my best. I record for so long and do what I can. Because I'm trying to also get through these games as quick as possible. Like I said, to be ready for Tears of the Kingdom. And so you guys know it. It's like 2 hours and 43 minutes of recording. And hopefully I could get it down to at least an hour and a half. Maybe shorter. But um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are excited to see the next dungeon or temple. And um, you know, we're going to do all that stuff. Like he said, we're going to go place the pearls. At those three locations in the next episode i know that i missed a spot here that i went past and did not mark and that's only because there is no fish there yet at least i didn't see one i cl clear as day there is literally there was no fish i didn't see one uh, i might be blind but you'll see why i didn't mark it or i wasn't able to mark it in the next episode but stay tuned after that. Hope you guys are excited to see that. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, your night, wherever you guys are. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!